lessons around love and partnership on the twin flame journey namaste wings my name is joy welcome back to my youtube channel so let's do a different style of reading today i would like to look at <clears throat> what spirit wants to tell us about relationships and relationship models and what type of relationship we are moving into what lessons are we learning around relationships on the twin flame journey this is from the cosmic dancer oracle we have noticed the pattern so the question was around patterns what patterns are we downloading here is like a dna spiral can symbolize the new template for the golden age the patterns that we have that but uh, the twin flame journey is about breaking patterns and uh, we have take the lead okay and here we have a couple dancing so take the lead notice the patterns take the lead to step into self-leadership okay to not project uh, upon the other person responsibility or to not put your needs outside of yourself and obviously a, a dancing couple uh, <clears throat> the lead and who is leading can shift it's like a cooperation so we're moving into a relationship template which is about self-leadership and cooperation honor the lineage okay where where there is honor for the lineage the feminine lineage and the masculine lineage where both people show up in honor to each other because we do have differences between the masculine and the feminine energy we are not the same we have to honor the masculine and we have to honor the feminine they both have to come into balance with each other we cannot be the same um, we can be equal but we cannot be the same we can be equally valuable and equally precious but we are not the same let's clarify this okay so what does spirit want to tell us about the patterns that we are to notice okay we have five of wands okay so this is about conflict okay so what patterns of conflict do you notice on your twin flame journey we have fire sign aries leo sagittarius where are you fighting okay so it's it's about releasing this fight releasing the struggle and um, there is no need to fight if you're fighting you're not cooperating you're not honoring each other okay queen of cups okay so it's about being honoring each other's emotions okay so it looks like a lot of the fighting that goes on between the masculine and the feminine it's because of emotions neither of the twin flame couple feel like their emotions are being honored we have water signs cancer pisces scorpio it could be so that the masculine is not understanding the feminine's emotions or the feminine is not understanding the masculine's emotions and we're coming from different um perspectives of emotional needs and this leads to conflict this leads to arguments and um, uh, this need there needs to be better communication to solve this because you don't have the same emotional needs and you do walk into your relationship with different backgrounds okay so different patterns you have picked up different sort of karma and different sort of baggage and um, it is for you to notice what your own emotional needs are and to not assume that the other person immediately will understand what your emotional needs are and to not necessarily assume that they are trying to ignore your needs but that you might have different perspectives and this is about action so five <clears throat> five oh fire so people take different sort of action uh, from different sort of emotional um perspective so for example somebody might withhold communication due to feeling vulnerable somebody want, might want to communicate more due to feeling vulnerable so in a sense it takes time for uh, you both to understand uh, the reason behind certain actions and it's not all the time exactly the same so you not communicating might not mean that you uh you not communicating might mean that you are angry the other person not communicating might mean that they are sad okay so that is just some examples of uh, how 
we might have different sort of emotional patterns, different ways to deal with our emotions. And then we have take the lead. Okay, so this is about faith, to have faith in each other. Okay, so faith and this we have obviously God here is the missing tip of the sword. Have faith in the universe. Have faith in your higher self. Have faith in your destiny together. Have faith that you both are uh, having the same goal in mind, that you both want union, that you both want each other so that you can work together. And when you work together for the same goal, it doesn't really matter who does what. Um, if you can show up in a certain way, it would be wise to show up in that way. Then there is no need to argue um, about who is doing what, but just show up in the way that you can in faith. It requires a lot of faith to show up uh, and take responsibility. And you have mastered certain lessons that your counterpart hasn't mastered yet. And maybe you are then meant to bring those uh, lessons as a gift into your union. Okay, let's look at honor. Okay, we have air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so then let's look at honor, the lineage, ten of swords. Okay, this I'm reading this now a little bit like honoring also the past. Because obviously you have different stories, different past experiences. And um, if somebody comes from trauma or abuse or if somebody comes from a failed marriage or somebody comes from a past where there has been a lot of cheating or lies, they will obviously bring that baggage into the relationship, not um, because they want to hurt you, okay, uh, but it has to be honored because it takes time to get over certain traumatic experiences. So honoring each other's baggage, honoring each other's past. Uh, not to be responsible for it, but to honor it, to honor that the person, uh, your counterpart might show up into your connection, not completely whole and neither do you. We have nine, nine of cups. Okay. <clears throat> this is also air signs and we have water signs. Okay. So this is about wishes, wish fulfillment. So honoring each other's wishes. Okay. So you have, <laughs> um, your past baggage and then you have your wishes okay and so honoring each other's different needs and uh, wants and desires okay so this is also the feminine's wants and needs and desires and the masculine's wants and needs and desires which are not going to be exactly the same because the masculine and the feminine is different so usually the, the feminine is <laughs> the part that, uh, the um, counterpart that needs more communication so then it's up to the masculine to learn how to honor his feminine in her wish for communication. And it's also for the divine feminine to honor her divine masculine in his needs for silence or isolation. So it's all kind of coming from a place of honor. That would be what you are learning. Okay, so uh, let's finish off with some love messages from your twin's higher self. Okay, so a lot of lessons that we are learning all the time on the Twin Flame journey. So we have to download a new relationship template. <clears throat> we have to balance the masculine and the feminine lineage. We have to balance our ancestral lineage. <laughs> and so we have to honor our mission and so on. Your divine counterpart wants to tell you. It is you that I want for life and I let my anger destroy things. Okay, so there seems to be some sort of like anger here that has been destroying mm, some things. Okay, so somebody might have gone into some sort of self-destructive behavior uh, <clears throat> and, and destroyed things out of um, like a self-destructive pattern, almost like a self-punishment. So they might have said or done something that is very destructive. Okay, and it's you that I want for life. So uh, it looks like both counterparts are very aware of the fact that this is the one or this is the person that I want to be with the rest of my life. Okay, so that is beautiful. Okay, so then have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.